Uh, first, I want to thank my friend Bernie Stegall and his remarkable organization, the Genetics Policy Institute, for arranging this very important conference at the United Nations. And I'm very sorry that I can't be there in person. Now, as representatives to the UN, all of you hold positions of enormous responsibility. You are perceived as the voice not only of the countries you represent, but as the collective moral voice of the world. Millions of patients just like me will be watching with great concern as you continue your important deliberations. Everyone I know of, including the scientists you'll hear from today, opposes the cloning of babies and the pursuit of reproductive cloning. But every leading scientist seeking cures calls for stem cell research to advance. Therapeutic cloning, also known as somatic cell nuclear transfer, offers real hope. The research is still in its infancy, but it has so much promise. And not to encourage the ethical pursuit of this research might result in needless human suffering and destroy the hope of those afflicted with Parkinson's, Alzheimer's, spinal cord injuries, and a host of other conditions for which no cure is yet known. Countries around the world are grappling with this issue and deciding that the purpose of government is to do the greatest good for the greatest number of people. Countries can ban reproductive cloning and still live up to their obligation to provide the best medical technology to all citizens. I have a real concern that a great medical advance might be lost to humanity should the United Nations recommend a treaty that would prohibit this research. So my prayers are with you, and I hope, I hope that you'll make the right decision, a decision based on secular law and morally sound scientific knowledge that will provide hope to millions suffering all over the world. Thank you very much.